colder weather, you think of layering up, right? You think of looking all chunky in your big parkas. Well, you don't have to. You can look stylish when it's cold out. And this is how. Here are five ways to elevate your suit and tie attire when it's cold outside. Color ID. The following items aren't for extreme cold, okay? This is for when it's chilly outside, for when it's just enough to shend a little, uh, shiver down your spine. <laughs> so, here are a few things that look stylish in the cold and what to look for in a quality item. First order of business, get yourself a coat, specifically a pea coat. These look great with suits. These are versatile pieces, super easy to dress up or down, especially if you get them in a common menswear color and just a subtle pattern. Look for one in a dark neutral color and one that will go with a lot of what you have in your wardrobe. Now I'm split on the zip out inner lining mock neck sweater thing that some of them come with. On the one hand, it's a great way to make the garment look a little more casual, but at the same time, I found them extremely annoying. I found them gripping onto the stubble of my neck and absolutely just hurting myself. Painful. So the one that came with mine, I never ever put on. I just wear the pea coat as is and it looks sharp. Get yourself a pair of gloves. They come in all forms these days. Vegan leather, regular leather, all kinds of colors, touchscreen compatible. They offer cold protection, warm protection, protection from UV rays. Whatever the reason you're getting gloves, get them so that they fit your hand well. And again, to that concept of matching leathers, like dress shoe leather with dress belt leather, you wanna make sure that your gloves coordinate with those leathers. So whatever you're wearing, make sure that they match. What is a pair worth investing in? I say at least a hundred US dollars. This will give you something you know it will be relatively low maintenance, something that won't fall apart on you, and something that will keep your hands warm in the cooler weather. Also, get yourself a scarf, something to bundle up in. You can't wear hoodies with your nice clothes, right? So get a scarf. There's all sorts of ways to tie it, all sorts of ways to be fancy with it, but scarves are best done and look for one with subtle patterns, something again that's versatile colors like the pea coat, like the suit colors, something that will go with a lot of things because if it's too busy, if it's too out there, people will notice. That scarf again? Ew! Item 3.5. 3. .5. 3 Point five, a necktie. If you're wearing a necktie, sometimes the outfit won't call for that, but if you go out with a necktie, get something that's suitable to the weather. Silk ties are four season ties, I will admit, but anything that with a wool blend or all wool or cashmere or something that's a chunkier texture, something with a thicker hand, something that looks substantial around your neck, Oh man. And this cool weather item's a bold choice. Can't wear it with a necktie. It is a turtleneck. Very few men look bad in a turtleneck. Turtlenecks accentuate the jawline or create an illusion of one. They come in all manner of thicknesses. So if you want to just make a base layer turtleneck or something a little more substantial, whichever you choose, make sure that it can fit underneath your blazer. If it's an ill fit under there, you'll be able to tell because you won't be able to put on the jacket. Regardless of your build, regardless of your neck size or neck circumference, turtlenecks are forgiving and flattering. Look for one that's of a fine quality and that does not necessarily mean expensive. You can find one in an all wool construction or a wool blend for a little easier maintenance for again, around the $100 mark. That is when you'll start to get into a turtleneck that you'll be able to have a long time. But if you do go to the most expensive of the expensive, such as all cashmere, you better make sure that it's a cashmere you trust. Cheap cashmere is about as oxymoronic as a jumbo shrimp. 
is about as oxymoronic as a, a, oh, uh, an anorexic sumo wrestler. It is about as oxymoronic as a, oh goodness, as a minimalistic hoarder. These oxymorons are sure getting moronic, aren't they? From one moron to another, something that won't make you moronic is a good quality winter fragrance. Something that complements what you're wearing when you step outside in the cool. You might be inclined to skip this, but please reconsider. A good fragrance, well chosen, will complement the outfit. It'll enhance everything we have talked about thus far. If you like the more edible fragrances, you could get something with a tasty vanilla. Or if you like more of the smoke forward scents, get something that is reminiscent of quality pipe tobacco. Or maybe you're sitting by the fireplace and you want to exude that mood. A quality winter fragrance will really tie together the entire look. And if you need any inspiration, any recommendations for some winter scents, you can watch these reviews next. These are scents that go perfect in the cold weather.